As an athlete, nutrition, it's everything. I would say it's half the race, it's half the importance of, of any endurance event. I'm sure you've seen the video online of people like getting almost, you know, very close to the finish and it's collapsed. They can't even like, you know, muster the energy to make those like five last steps. If you aren't, you know, eating right, if you aren't, you know, feeding your body, you know, doing the proper electrolytes in a race, you, you know, you're going to get cramps, you're, you're going to start like shutting down, your body's, you know, not going to be able to perform. You can see that Robert Killian is struggling tremendously. For the, the ideal nutrition plan, I mean, you have to, you know, find out what works for you. For me, I mean, I know, and you know, generalization, I need, you know, between 500 and 600 calories per hour to maintain, you know, a really long endurance event. Eat a good breakfast. You can you can carbo load for that. You can you can take those in liquid calories, you know, bars, gels, and stuff like that. I mean, that's just race day and pre-race day. It's, it's always important, you know, just stick to the basics. You have to eat right. You're eating vegetables. You're eating potatoes, pasta. You get your carbs. You know, you're getting your proteins in somehow, whether that's through eggs. If you're doing meat, powders. Protein plays an important role in my nutrition plan. I mean, you know, the most important time that you really need to get some protein in you, get those calories back is, you know, 15 to 30 minutes right after, a, you know, an intense workout. I mean, are you gonna, you know, go home and, you know, throw down some eggs, you know, cook up some meat? Like, you, you don't always have time for that. So, I mean, getting that protein in you, like, quick, fast, Protein is what, you know, rebuilds your muscles. That's what gets you to the point where you can do a workout and recover faster so you can hit it that hard the next day, the day after, and you're really making those gains and those improvements. You can feel the difference. You have to fuel your body the right way to be able to effectively recover, to be able to be at your peak performance all the time. You have to be smart about nutrition. You know? If you're not doing it, I mean, the other guy is. Who really is the best? <laughs>